Okay, this is uh, Scott here with Marcus Mayhem Adventures. Uh, today we're going to be starting our first build on video, that is. Um, this is our 2006 Dodge Power Wagon. Um, I've given walkthroughs of this stuff before. Um, might do another one later. Currently, it's still stock minus the... <laughs> Um, 35s, the cheap, well, cheap Chinese, uh, was that Ling Long Crosswind 35, 12, 5, R17s, and Pacer aluminum rims. Tires were horrible in the snow, so we're going to be upgrading those when all this is done. Um, we're preparing for power wagons in Moab. That's starting at the end of the month. Today's the, is it the 11th, I believe, today? So we got this weekend to get everything going. Um, we're going to be trying to throw on our metal cloak control arms, Thurin, um, track bar, some Daystar spacers, and uh, I think there were Synergy um, lift shackles. I'll go ahead and get all this stuff taken out. Okay, get these things pulled out. So, they are very heavy duty units, that solid gold? construction. That, is that one made of gold? No buddy, not gold. This is plated gold. I can't remember, I'll have to research and verify, I can't remember what they're made out of or what they're uh, plated with, but it's a rust preventative. Mm. Oh. Yummy, thank you. I'll keep your energy up whenever you're building. The, uh, <laughs> Great video. Okay, and the uh, bushings are kind of unique. They're a, Kev a DuPont Kevlar uh, hybrid. I think it's a vulcanized rubber um, bushing. They're pretty cool to show, allow a lot of um, freedom of movement. And they have a natural return to center, so you're not going to have control arms kind of like sitting sideways all the time making noise as you might do with some of the uh, um, the other kinds. So they are offset, so you can run a um, wider tire with less backspacing. These are the upper control arms. Same coating, same style of bushing, and they're offset or a bent to allow for um, tire clearance again. You can wide, run those wider tires with a shallower, how you put it, a deeper back spacing. You want to keep your tires tucked in instead of having them sticking out, or just have a lot more tire. Okay, this will be the Thurin track bar again this is a huge upgrade from the factory one it is adjustable it has it's very stiff it has a uh, hind joint on one end and if I remember right it is a poly on the front. It allows you to have this allows for a very stiff track bar, but you still have the ability to absorb um, the road energy and trail energy, so you still have a good ride. Everybody that's had them says they're a great upgrade. They do. Phenomenal off-road, of course, and they're a great improvement. They will eliminate any, not any, but 
will help eliminate the uh, the on the death wobble that this factory suspension has. Again, this is I'm very excited to be putting this on. Um, this will help with I am be lifting two inches, so having a bit of adjustment here will help to be able to get that back to the factory. Okay, for the larger tires, I could have gotten springs, but um, I'm trying to keep this kind of on a budget. Wasn't wasting money on my control arms and track bar, so I went ahead and saved some of it on the lift. I'm not a for just two inches, anyways, to gain clearance for the new tires we'll be running. I figured this is going to be be ideal. And just Daystar two inch spacers. Pretty good condition. Oil bucket. Poly leaf. And six off nuts. The uh, Daystar website said that I should get new shocks, uh, but after talking to some of the industries, mainly um, people in the industry, they said that for power wagons, given that our shocks are longer, it wasn't a necessity to get longer shocks, we should be fine. To me, it didn't make any sense anyway, considering our suspensions on these are kind of organically um, limited, how far they can droop. I'm not getting more, I'm just... Great. I'm not getting more travel. I'm just increasing ride height, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, yeah, thanks, uh, Maple Wagon, for your contributions to that and helping me and be more confident that I didn't need uh, uh, new shocks for this. I might get new shocks, but I'm probably be keeping with the stock length. Okay, to uh, finish out this little kit I put together, I went with. Synergy um, one inch lift shackles. I was looking at the Theron ones, the adjustables. Really, really nice piece of kit, but I just couldn't. So, we're trying to keep it on a budget, trying to get everything done. And Synergy, they're good enough, I guess. Still solid. We'll see. Be cutting some tables. But, yes, like I said, they're still a solid piece. I mean, that's. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna be happy with that. Nice color too, and huh, little metal stickers. Well, he's got at least the kids love the stickers. And of course, these are greasable as well. well that's it. Hopefully, we've got all this. All right. Well, there's the. Uh, complete kit that I'm going to be putting on. Um, hopefully everything works the way it's described. A better look of everything. So, that's how I am. Good beef on those uh, shackles. Everything looks like very, very sturdy and uh, hopefully everything works together pro as it should and I'll be able to fit these new tires.